Okay. So basically, uh, the first thing I want to do is that I want to uh, recap the tunnel relationship a little bit. So last time we talked about tunnel relationship like this. So when we have a tunnel relationship in the conceptual ER diagram, uh, we talked about how we change this into a relational model. So basically the rule was this. When you have a tunnel relationship like this, you have to count how many maximum many cardinality you have. So here the maximum is one. Here maximum many. And here maximum many. So in this case, the number of maximum cardinality is more than one, right? Because there are two. And then we consider then we consider this as many to many relationship. That means that we have to create a table for this relationship. So which is here. So there is table for relationship which contains information about assignment. And primary key of many sided table will be added here as primary key uh, of assignment table. So uh, many side was here and here. So semester ID, course ID will, will be added here as primary key. And primary key of one side table will be added as foreign key. So which is uh, staff ID is added here as foreign key. So that, that was the main rule we talked about last time when you have a uh, many to many tonal relationship. So just to remind you, so I put also rule for other type of relationship. Uh, when you have a, for example, when you have a tonally one to many relationship or tonally one to one relationship. So when you have a tonally one to many relationship, it means that there is only one maximum many cardinality in the relationship. So for this relationship, only this one has a maximum many cardinality. In that case, we consider this as one to many tonally relationship. And the rules are simple. You simply put primary key of one side table as a foreign key into many side table. So basically one side of the table is this and this. Primary key is SID and the country ID. So we put that here into many sided table, which is a customer. So we put it here as foreign key like this. So that's the rule basically. When you have a tonally one to many relationship, you can follow this rule. Simply put primary key of one side of tables into uh, many sided table as a foreign key, basically. So that is it. So another thing is this. So when you have a one to many tonal relationship like this, basically it's uh, exactly the same as having multiple one to many relationship. So here it's one and one, and here is many, right? So many, one, one. Then basically this tonal relationship is exactly the same as having two one to many relationship. So here one, here one here many because if, if you have this two one to many relationship basically what's happening is this you have to put one side primary key into here as a foreign key same thing one side of primary key putting here as a foreign key then the final implementation will be exactly the same between these two design so there is no difference between this and this so that's why uh well, yeah, basically that's what I mentioned last time for the assignment one. So in assignment one, if you remember, we had an employee entity and employee can be either worker or manager. So if you remember that, uh, the solution that I showed you was this. So we can have an easy relationship here and easy relationship here. So employee can be either a manager or not, worker or not, and worker should be employee and manager should be employee. So we had that as a sample solution. But I also said that if you make a tonal relationship here, I said it's totally fine. So tonal relationship should look like this. It's totally fine because in terms of implementation, there is no difference between these two designs. So either is fine in this case. Okay, so that's it. So let me go to the next one. And what if we have a one-to-one -one relationship? So we have a tonal relationship, but all maximum cardinality is simply one. So it's one-to-one -one relationship. In that case, primary keys of any two one-sided table can be added as foreign keys into the other one-sided table. So you can basically add this here and add the primary key of this here. So if you do that, the design will look like this. The relational model should look like this. 
So driver license, primary key, license number is added here. And passport to the primary key, passport to number is added here. And they are both added as a foreign key. So that's it. Again, having one-to-one -one tonal relationship is exactly the same as having multiple one-to-one -one binary relationship. So in, in this case, if your design is like this, then this one is exactly the same uh, with this design below, which has two one-to-one -one relationship like this. So this part is the same, this part is the same, right? This part is the same, and this part is the same. So everything is the same. So these two designs are exactly the same. And if you think about the implementation, they will be both implemented like this. So there is no difference between these two. Okay. 